Hey kids, it's me, Kit the Explorer, and our friend Miles. Do you want to say hi to everyone? Hi, Baba. <laughs> bye bye. Today, we are learning all about an ocean creature that's <gasps> so scary. We're gonna learn a little bit about sharks. And instead of going to the ocean or an aquarium to learn about sharks, we're gonna make the ocean in this teeny tiny aquarium. So, in order to make this a little bit more like the ocean, we're gonna put some blue food coloring into it. Do you wanna help me, Miles? Mm -hmm. Let's count three drops and you can stir it up with this big spoon. Can you grab that spoon and stir it up? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna drop it in. One, two, oh, three. That's more than three drops, but let's stir that up so we can have a nice blue ocean. Oh, good job. Yeah. Stir that up. Now I'm gonna roll up my sleeves because the ocean, right here we've got an empty ocean and we need somebody to help us explore the ocean. So I have, we'll call her Linda. Linda is a marine biologist which means she studies animals that live in the ocean. Let's give Linda a nice boat to explore the ocean in. Here you go, Linda. Marine biologists are scientists that study underwater and aquatic life. Oftentimes they go out into the ocean on a boat for weeks at a time to study marine life. Here are some marine biologists diving at a coral reef. Here's a marine biologist studying some fish and here's a marine biologist swimming after a whale shark, the largest shark in the world. It's marine biologists like these that we have to thank for all the amazing things we know about the ocean. Whoa, Linda's just riding around in her boat. Looking for some animals. How do you think she could find a shark? Because guess what? There's some animals that are coming to check her out. There's some sea turtles that are swimming in the ocean. I also see some lobsters and some starfish. And look, here's a dolphin that's come up to say hi to Linda. <laughs> Dolphins are mammals that live in the ocean. Mammals are animals that breathe air and give birth to live young. Dolphins are some of the most intelligent creatures in the ocean. They're social and smart, and they live in groups called pods. Here's a pod of dolphins swimming in some shallow water, and here's a pod of dolphins having fun in the ocean. Did you know that dolphins have been known to protect humans from shark attacks? But still no sharks. Linda doesn't see any sharks, so what could we do to attract some sharks? Did you know that a great white shark can sense blood in the water from up to three miles away? Maybe we should add a little droplet of blood to the water. Oh, <gasps> that's just red food coloring, but we're gonna pretend. Oh, dun 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 dun. Here's a tiny shark. This tiny shark has smelled the blood. He's coming to check it out. Ooh, spooky. Now Linda can study these sharks. But uh-oh. Uh-oh, explorers. Bum, 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 bum. Chomp, 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 chomp. Ooh, this shark is hungry, it looks like. All the other sea animals are gonna swim away. Sharks are one of nature's most perfected predators. Their mouths are full of razor sharp teeth that grow back whenever one falls out. And did you know that sharks don't have bones? Instead, their skeleton is made out of a material called cartilage, the same material that the tip of your nose and your ears are made out of. The jaws of a shark are reinforced with calcium, so even though they're made out of cartilage, they can be preserved after a shark dies. 
Oh no, the great white shark is swimming under Linda, and the boat is so tiny, what's she gonna do? Jump. He's trying to get her. Jump. I have an idea. What if Linda threw the great white some food? Great whites eat all kinds of meat, and Linda is gonna throw this great white a fishy. He's going after the fishy. This great white has such big jaws that he's gonna chomp the fish in one bite. Whoa. Oh, thank you, Linda. What a delicious treat. Bye-bye. I almost got eaten by a great white shark. Wow, Linda is such a brave marine biologist. She almost got chomped by a great white shark, but she learned a lot about great white sharks today and other kind of sharks. Great whites are one of the apex predators in the ocean. There's not really anything that eats these. Do you remember we explored apex predators at the Bean Life Science Museum a couple episodes ago? You should check that one out. The link for it is in the description of this video. Did you know that sharks and fish breathe in the water through something called gills. You can see the gills on the side of this shark. And sharks pass water through the gills. And just like when air passes into your lungs when you take a deep breath, <gasps> when you take a deep breath like that, your lungs take oxygen out of the air and send it to the rest of your body. And when sharks pass water through their gills, same with fish, they pull oxygen out of the water and they send it to the rest of their body. And that's kind of how they breathe. Here, you can see a nurse shark and an eel forcing water past their gills to transport oxygen to the rest of their body. When a shark does this when it's sitting still, it's known as buccal ventilation. When the shark is swimming and the motion of the shark is passing water through its mouth and through its gills, it's known as ram ventilation. There are some sharks that mostly breathe through ram ventilation, meaning that they have to spend most of their life swimming so that the motion of their swimming forces water past their gills so that they can get the oxygen they need to live. And let's ask one other question for ourselves. How could Linda have been safer around this great white shark? Well, she could have used a different boat. This is a teeny tiny little wooden boat, but if she used a bigger boat like this ocean explorer, she might have been a little bit safer from the sharks. We'll put you in here, Linda, so you can be safer next time you go looking for sharks. There are all kinds of different sharks. Some are small and some are really, really big. Some of them like the open ocean, others like shallow waters, some like the tropical climates, but no matter what they like, they all breathe through gills. Thanks so much for watching another episode of Kit Explores where we explored a little bit about sharks and marine life. And parents, be sure to subscribe to this channel for more fun educational videos for your little ones. And also, you can follow us on Instagram or on Twitter at Kit Explores. See you guys next time. Bye. Can you say bye to bye. the camera? Bye. Bye bye. Whoa, that's a fierce shark. Oh, here comes a fishy. I know the dolphin will save her because sometimes dolphins save people. <laughs> She's swimming? Mm -hmm. <gasps> oh no, there's two sharks. <gasps> Did that scare you? <laughs>